Welcome to a video that will show two methods for adding mixed numbers. We will add the mixed numbers using improper fractions and then using mixed numbers. We will also model the sum using the fraction bars below. We are given two and three fourths plus one and a half. Notice here's the model for two and three fourths and here's the model for one and a half. Using the method of improper fractions, the first step is to write two and three fourths and one and a half as improper fractions. Two and three fourths as an improper fraction will have a denominator of four. The numerator is four times two plus three. Four times two is eight. Eight plus three is eleven. Two and three fourths equals eleven fourths. Looking at the model, if we break these units into fourths, we can see that two and three fourths does equal eleven fourths. For one and a half, the denominator remains two. The numerator is two times one plus one, which is three. One and a half equals three halves. Looking at the model for one and a half, we can easily see one and a half equals three halves. In order to add fractions, we must always have a common denominator so that the pieces that we're adding are the same size. The least common denominator is the least common multiple of two and four, which is four. If we're not able to determine the least common multiple, we can always multiply the two denominators. Notice four times two is equal to eight. But because the LCD or least common denominator is four, we need to write both fractions with a denominator of four. Eleven fourths already has a denominator of four. To write three halves as an equivalent fraction with the denominator of four, we multiply the numerator and denominator by two. Three times two is six. Two times two is four. Three halves is equal to six fourths. Going back to the model, here's our model for three halves. If we break this up into fourths, we can see three halves equals six fourths. Notice now all the pieces are the same size. And now that we have a common denominator, we can add the fractions. The denominator remains four. The numerator is eleven plus six, which equals seventeen. Looking at our model, notice how we have eleven plus six or seventeen copies of one fourth, which is seventeen fourths. But notice how this result is an improper fraction. Let's also write this as a mixed number. To do this, we divide seventeen by four. There are four fours in seventeen. Four times four is sixteen. We subtract. The difference is one. Our quotient is four and one fourth. So the sum is seventeen fourths, which is also equal to four and one fourth. And now let's find the sum again using mixed numbers. Using mixed numbers, the first step is to write three fourths and one half with a common denominator. We already know the least common denominator is four, and therefore we multiply the numerator and denominator of one half by two. We leave two and three fourths in its current form, and one and a half is equal to one and two fourths. Looking at our model for one and a half, if we break this bar up into fourths, we can see one and a half equals one and two fourths. And now we add, we first add the fractions, and then we add the whole numbers. Three fourths plus two fourths is five fourths, and two plus one is three. Looking at our model, here's the three, and here's the five fourths. But five fourths is an improper fraction. We need to convert this to a mixed number, and then add it to three. To do this, we divide five by four. It's one, four, and five. One times four is four. We subtract, the difference is one. The quotient is one and one-fourth, which means three and five-fourths is equal to three plus one and one-fourth, which is the same as plus one plus one-fourth, which equals four and one-fourth. So the final sum as a mixed number is four and one-fourth. I hope you found this helpful.